So, without further ado, I am going to introduce. Uh, we have two speakers for this. So, we have Bianca from Macquarie. So, she looks after the New South Wales. She, well, sorry, she is. She doesn't look after. She is the New South Wales State Manager for the Wealth Intermediary Team. Um, of Macquarie, and Anne, who is with Vanguard, is also the intermediary sales manager for Northern, which I believe encompasses Queensland as well. So, ladies, please come to the stage, and I will hand over to, to you. Do you want to run the Thank you, Rebecca. Great pleasure today to have uh, to be on stage with Anne Hame from Vanguard. Thank you, Anne, for, for joining me. Uh, Vanguard, one of the world's largest fund managers, uh, over 40 years' experience, more than 16,000 employees, uh, 6.8 trillion in assets under management, 1.2 trillion uh, of that is in ETFs, and there's more than 20 million clients worldwide. It's almost as impressive as Macquarie, but it's not quite there yet. <laughs> um, we'll try again. Yes. So, um, and Macquarie has been running managed accounts now for more than 20 years. Uh, and we've seen a lot of changes uh, during that time. Uh, but I guess what we're seeing now is a lot of new managers entering this space. So for Vanguard, uh, why now? Why are you coming into the managed account space at this time? So um, clearly we believe in the managed accounts growth story, otherwise we wouldn't be here today and I think no one else would be here either. Um, we believe in the benefits to advisors um, through business efficiencies, client engagement, etc. Um, and we think we're just at the beginning and there's a, a strong growth trajectory there for managed accounts. Um, and more importantly, we believe that you know, Vanguard is focused on the client and putting clients first. And, our investment philosophy, and some may uh, beg to differ, but we believe provides the uh, investor the best chance of um, achieving investment success, and we want to offer our philosophy and approach in this structure. Great. And so, and maybe talk us through what exactly, what is that investment approach? How does Vanguard, how, how does it, how is it different? We know the popularity of your funds. It's one, you're one of the biggest managers on our platform today. Uh, you have a, a very strong following in the retail space. What is it about Vanguard that makes you different? I think, um, you know, uh, Jerome mentioned earlier, you know, doing the right things for clients and not just talking about it but doing it and we're, we're strong advocates for clients. I think the fact that we're a global brand, um, a global organisation and we're continually leveraging our global capability um, will make a difference to the end investor and we have a very long term approach to investing um, and you all would know we, we espouse to strategic asset allocation. Uh, we do believe that, I think that's changed, um, we do believe that investing, has that moved on? I can't see that. <laughs> there we go. Um, we do believe in setting goals, investing for the long term, um, being disciplined in, in the way that you rebalance back to um, your strategic asset allocation. Costs matter, as you know, it's not just about index and active, it's about low-cost investing, and our approach has proven that we can deliver strong outcomes for investors. So the expertise that you mentioned, 40 years of investment expertise in our investment strategy group, underpinned by a very robust and disciplined um, capital markets model, which delivers um, the end asset allocation for our, for our funds. So we think we're different. Um, okay. And so, with the, we, Charisse mentioned earlier today around engaging the next generation. Where do you think advisors could potentially be looking at using your type of portfolios, particularly for potentially building on ramps, etc., for being able to engage in the next generation of clients, especially cost of, in a cost effective way? Yeah. So, um, you know, the research that was mentioned this morning by Charisse talked about the new generation wanting transparency and wanting liquidity and, and listed securities. So in terms of our portfolios, it is about ETF implementation, strategic asset allocation with ETF 
implementation. So you get the look through if you want to look under the bonnet. It is there to see for you to see what we're holding. Um, but I think you know, just taking it a step back, you know, some of uh, my colleagues and peers in the room have talked about private label um, managed accounts and bespoke and tailored managed accounts, and we think that's fantastic. And you know, the likes of Stanford Brown do use our ETFs in implementa implementation in their in their models um, and managed accounts. But we think, you know, given where advisors are today and you know, you can go and decide to build your own portfolios and managed account solutions, but you need size and scale sometimes. You need the expertise um, and the infrastructure to actually implement that. So if you don't have the time for that, then we think a professionally managed portfolio can still give you access to the brilliant benefits of managed accounts and leverage those benefits for your business and clients but you're outsourcing that decision and you're focusing then on your clients, you know, the concept of Advisors Alpha, which we, we've talked you know, a lot about in the industry with advisors. You know, control what you can control as an advisor and outsource the rest. And that will enable you to spend more time with clients, building client loyalty, regaining trust if some of that trust has been fragmented of, you know, with all the, the things that are going on in the market lately. But you know, focus on the things that matter to your clients. Be the behavioural coach, no matter what age they are, really, whether they're the, the newer generation coming through or your more stable clients and older seg client segments. But professionally managed portfolios like ours will give you that ability to spend time where it matters. I think it's a, it's a really interesting point around, and it was one that Sharice mentioned earlier, but our recent benchmarking survey, one of the points that did come out was around the changing role of the advisor. Uh, and it's really moving away from being the investment expert to being the manager of the experts. And of our high performing firms, uh, two thirds of those believe that they're moving now towards more of a centralised model where the advisor is actually more focused on the client relationship, delivering the actual uh, customisation to the clients. Uh, but to do that, they need to actually outsource some of that investment uh, expertise. And then there's one third of the, the businesses who still believe that, no, they are the investment experts. And that's, and that's the argument, I think, that's been uh, brought out through the various sessions today. It's insourcing versus outsourcing. So it's where the energy and the resources want to be spent, uh, depending on uh, where the expertise lies within the businesses. Uh, but we're definitely seeing the momentum shift uh, to being a more of an outsourced uh, model rather than an in-source model and I think that that's where Vanguard is very well placed uh, to come into those portfolios. Mm. Uh, so Anne, I guess why then Macquarie? Very good question. <laughs> um, we, we've chosen to partner with Macquarie to launch our first suite of managed accounts because we believe you're a strongly growing um, managed account provider, managed account platform. You have wonderful coverage across the industry, um, be it with the independent channel, the bank-aligned or non-aligned um, dealer groups. So we think that you know it's our first foray into this space, and uh, you know it's one that we're really excited about and excited to be partnering with yourselves on. Great. I mean, we've worked with fund managers in the past who have come onto the platform, and I think the real difference here uh, with Vanguard and why we think and we're so supportive of this uh, of you coming on board is your dedication in the advice space and the amount of time that your team takes to get to know the advisors' businesses and work alongside them. And it's very much the same philosophy that we take and our approach coming into advice businesses and really trying to understand what the needs of the businesses are uh, to, to see how we can support Support them, and I think in that way there's there's a lot of alignment between the two businesses, uh, and where advisors uh, trust both brands. Uh, so I think that you know in terms of partnerships, it, it, it's a great one. Agreed. <laughs> so, Agreed. Um, so uh, with that, I might just open it to questions uh, from the audience. If anybody has any questions, no. Great. Uh, so, and when can we expect to see the um, the Vanguard options? They will be available very soon. <laughs> so, um, the, we're in the final stages of um, you know working with you on, on the PDS clearly. But um, I just want to bring up what they look like actually, and I, I can see that there. So. Um, there will be four portfolios and they will replicate our strategic asset allocation for 
the risk profiles that we currently have, um, conservative through to high growth. We are strong believers in strategic asset allocation and diversification, and um, we don't have a 60-40 portfolio that was mentioned earlier today. Our balance is 50-50. Um, ETF implementation, as you can see, and very cost effective at around 20 or 21 basis points in terms of the average MER so, um, of the underlying ETFs. So we think that uh, this gives investors of advisors the opportunity to be in broadly diversified portfolios, to choose the risk profile um, and give you long-term performance, which really does look like this. So top quartile over all time periods, one, three, five, seven years plus for all risk profiles. So consistent long-term performance. Um, our clients, you know, at the end of the day, we listened to what our advisors were asking for, and that was accessing our investment approach in this structure. So we've got the funds, diversified funds, diversified ETFs, and now the managed account structure will come very shortly. Great, and, and we, we talk to a lot of advisors who are looking for uh, cost-effective solutions. Uh, it, may be, it might be to manage the tail or it might be to engage in that next generation. But, um, but there's been a lot of demand for these sorts of solutions in the managed account space. So uh, it's wonderful to have a, a manager of your pedigree coming on board and um, partnering with Macquarie. So thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, everyone.